Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. It is Friday, September 27th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in college football. Friday night football in just a moment. Man, I love these late night baseball games. We had another one that just ended doing this video around midnight Pacific, three o'clock in the morning Eastern time. Second time this week we've had a baseball game, a live baseball game uh, to keep us company as we're handicapping the next day's card. We always love when that happens when we got a live sport. I don't care if it's baseball, a PGA, LPGA when they're over in the Far East. Uh, the bottom line is it's good to have live sports as you are re uh, getting ready for the next day's card. I'm going to miss the baseball season. I love Major League Baseball and uh, going to miss it. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, we got a free college football play coming up on this report. We won last night with Memphis. More on that in just a second. There's a great offer going on right now over at DocSports.com. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but it's in place right now. You can get 33% off the rest of the football season. And you know what? DocSports.com, that means college football and the NFL, all included in one package. Rest of the football season, college and pro, 33% off. And here's how you take advantage. Go to the DocSports.com website. Go to my handicappers homepage. You click on the rest of the football season, and you're going to be asked for a code. Well, that code is FB Season 33. It's all one word, FB Season 33. 33, 33% off the rest of the football season, college football and the NFL. And speaking of college football and the NFL, our package is up right now over at DocSports.com. Eight football games, college football Saturday, NFL Sunday. It concludes and includes Monday Night Football. We've got that game as part of the mix. Cashed last Monday night with the Bears. We look to do it again this Monday night in that clash between the Bengals and the Steelers. But again, seven-unit play on Saturday in college football highlights the college card. Six-unit play in Sunday's NFL, of course, highlights the NFL card. We are 3-0 this year with six-unit plays in football. We won another seven-unit last week with the Washington Huskies when they completely knocked off and dominated BYU. And uh, again, seven-unit play Saturday highlights a five-play Saturday card. Six-unit play highlights the three-play NFL card. It includes Monday Night Football. It's going to be a great weekend for us over at DocSports.com. Take full advantage. All right, uh, as far as baseball, uh, we had that big seven-unit nice winner with Milwaukee, as easy as it gets on Wednesday. But yesterday, I had a three-unit play, a little underdog money on the under between the Rockies and San Francisco, and the Giants put up four runs in their final at-bat to beat us in that one. So we look to come right back and cash again, get back in the win column on Friday. And listen, by the way, I wanted to mention this. Um, the play on Friday is a side. It'll be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Wanted to mention that so you know when to go over to DocSports.com and get Friday's baseball play. Again, it is a side, and it will be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time, a Friday night baseball game. WNBA, they've been off for a couple of days. They won't resume till Sunday. We'll tell you more about the WNBA on Sunday's video. NASCAR will post that Saturday night, 11 p.m. Pacific Time for Sunday's race. You know about the runs. WNBA, 18-8 and eight short term, 44-23-2 and two long term. NASCAR, 9-1 last 10, 16-4 four last 20 up over $5,500 for $100 per unit better so again more on those two sports on Sunday's videos the college football and the NFL package up right now as I speak you can go grab all eight plays as soon as you're done watching this video all right uh, real quick note last night uh, hey Memphis Tigers we had them as the free pick I'll just say this much uh, they hung around close enough in the first half went at a halftime probably should have been down by more than six points but that's all they were and then they were able to come back and get the cover in the second half with a 35-23 win over Navy. So a nice second half out of the Memphis Tigers. We didn't play the matchup between the Eagles and the Packers, and Philly put up a gutsy performance getting the win. Green Bay unable to run the ball, trying to throw the ball. A couple of instances in the second half inside the five-yard line. They come up empty both times, and Philly secures the victory. Big win for them. Got to talk a little bit just for a second before I get to the free pick because I think everybody should know this, and if you don't already I'm sure you're checking box scores and you know some of this info but listen we tweeted this a, a few days ago about Green Bay's run defense being questionable when all this praise is being heaped on this Packer defense and they got 
shelled again on the ground. I mean, look at their last three games on the ground, talking about the Steelers. They've given up 176 yards on 33 carries, 149 yards on 38 carries, 198 yards on 27 carries. Last three games, the Packers have allowed 523 rushing yards on 5.3 yards per carry. You're not going to win a bunch of football games when you cannot stop the run to that extent. I mean, they're just getting shelled right now on the ground. So they're going to have to shore up that problem. We'll talk a little bit more about that after this weekend when we head into next week's games. Let's get to our free pick uh, for Friday's card. It is Friday Night Football. It's the clash in the ACC between Duke and Virginia Tech. The totals come down a little bit on this one. It's down to 52, 52 and a half in that neighborhood, but we still like it under. Uh, it's been an under series thus far. Five of the last six games between these two have landed under. I think you're going to see Duke trying to establish the running game in this one. And I'll tell you what, as far as Virginia Tech is concerned, I know Justin Fuente, listen, uh, the honeymoon is over in Blacksburg. They want wins. They want impressive wins. Uh, the biggest issue for the Hokies has been the offense and more specifically the quarterback play. Uh, and they're going to have to pick it up. But I think it's a situation where they're going to face this Duke defense that's better than they were a season ago, especially where it counts the most, I think, when it comes to passing games, which is, of course, the secondary. They're better there than they were a year ago. They've shored up some of their problems that they were having before this season defensively. So I think you're going to see both of these teams having to establish the, the run in this game early on. And I think you'll see that clock keep moving. And so I agree with the movement towards the under thus far. And again, even though it's come down a couple of points, I still think that's the way to go in this game. Virginia Tech, by the way, they ranked 15th against the pass. And they've allowed a combined 34 points. That's it, the last two games. Uh, if you look at Duke and how they play as far as the totals are concerned, 12-4 and four under run in their last 16 conference games. And again, Virginia Tech and Duke, they hook up. It's generally been an under series. Five of the last six have gone to the low. So we're going to recommend uh, the under between Duke and Virginia Tech on Friday night. Uh, that's our play for Friday. Don't forget Major League Baseball available Friday 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. I've got a Friday night side available right now over at DocSports.com plus the college football and NFL package. Eight big games. Uh, we don't have any premium picks on Friday. It starts on Saturday so you'll be able to go grab the picks and again, our card kicks off on Saturday, five games Saturday, three games in the NFL. It includes Monday Night Football, six you to play in the NFL, seven you to play in college, uh, and we look to have a big weekend in both college and pro football. We're heading into Friday, by the way, up about 26 units over the past six days. All right, that's going to do it for us for Friday. Again, the free play is the under between Duke and Virginia Tech. We'll be right back here probably early. I'm going to try to get the video out uh, no later than about 11 p.m. or midnight Pacific time Friday night because if I end up using a free pick from Saturday's early card I want you to be able to have time to see the pick and of course get your action if you agree with the pick and want to jump on board that's going to do it for us for Friday and again if you like these videos click on that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe I'm Scott Spritzer DocSports.com let's put Friday in the win column right back here late Friday night with Saturday's report we'll talk to you then